is that every time a white person, you know, an English speaker, learns another language, people go fucking apeshit. And people just can't fucking believe, like, oh my god, I can't believe you learned another language. And don't get me wrong, I think it's great, and I think it is an achievement, because learning another language is hard. I just wish that there was just a little bit of that energy for other people. Because there are millions, literally millions of people in the United States and in Western countries that have come from all over the world who have learned to speak English. And instead of being met with that same kind of, you know, praise and adulation, they are met with mockery and ridicule for their broken English or for their... Go watch Suja's video in full because she makes a really good point, but her video reminded me of this sign that used to hang at Gino's Steaks in Philadelphia. And Gino's Steaks is one of the top two most famous cheesesteak places in Philadelphia, probably second only to Pat's, and they're literally across the street from each other. We have Pat's here in red and Gino's in green. The original owner, Joey Vento, hung this sign in 2004 in the main window where you order your cheesesteak that reads, This is America, when ordering, speak English. And remember, Gino's is one of the top two most famous cheesesteak places in Philadelphia. Not the best tasting, just the two most famous ones. Like when tourists come to Philadelphia, that's just something you do. You go look at the Liberty Bell, the Constitution, and then you go to Pat's and Gino's. And I bring that up because local Philadelphians don't go to Pat's and Gino's. It's a tourist trap. You literally only go there if it's like three o'clock in the morning and you're drunk and it's the only thing open because they're open 24 seven. But Gino's literally makes the majority of their profit from tourists. Majority of them who are from out of the country. And it got worse because look at this sticker that the owner Joey put on the window of Gino's where you go up to order. And he started doing all of this because he started noticing that there were a lot of Mexican immigrants that were starting to move into South Philadelphia that used to be primarily Italian and started taking over a lot of the long abandoned storefronts that were left from Italians and started turning into taquerias and things like that. Which is wild because Joey used to talk frequently about his own ancestors came from Italy and were unable to speak the English language when they first got here. Even back in like 2005, he became the poster boy for, you can guess the type, saying things like, you come here, you pop a baby, pick it up and take it back to Mexico. And before Joey Vento passed away in 2011, his only dying wish to his only son who he named after the restaurant and not the other way around, was to never remove the speak English sign. And when Joey's son Gino inherited Gino's steaks, one of the first things he does is hire a PR firm who immediately told him he has to remove the Americans Don't Press Number Two sticker. And when they told him that you have to remove this other highly racist sticker, Gino was like, mm, I don't know, it was my dad's dying wish. So have fun turning in your grave for the rest of eternity.